Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 purchase order plugin. Now this particular video is the updated one. So basically this plugin provides a complete ERP solution for Magento 2 allowing merchants to create purchase orders, request quotations, manage incoming shipments and update incoming product information easily. The purchase orders can be created either manually or automatically. An automatic purchase order is created when any product goes out of stock and after confirming the auto draft purchase order, the admin can send the purchase order to the supplier via email there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront and at the backend as well. So I'll be showing you basically how to assign suppliers to products the price section on the product edit page where we can set the cost price and the, the procurement method uh, for the product. We'll also be checking out how to create purchase orders automatically and manually. Apart from that, we'll be seeing how to add suppliers, how to manage attributes for the PO, how to add the different attributes like drop down text, text area, attributes for the purchase orders and the initial configuration settings for the plugin as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the uh, Magento 2 web store here on one of the products, that's the Crown Summit backpack. So let me hop onto the admin backend panel and let me log into the admin backend panel. So the very first thing that we'll be checking out is how to assign suppliers to products and the price section where we can set the cost price and the procurement method for the product. For that, what we need to do is we need to go to catalog and products. Uh, we can do it for a newly created product as well uh, that we are going to create or for an already created product as well. So for now, I'll just choose, uh, for example, uh, I'll be choosing uh, here the Stripe shoulder pack. I'll edit the product up. On the product edit page, as you can see, here what we need to do is we need to scroll down to the section. I'll just show you that. Uh, that says suppliers. So here we are having the section that says suppliers. We can add multiple suppliers to this product as per our requirement there. And to add a new supplier, what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add new supplier button. And that brings up the choose supplier option from where you can choose the supplier from the drop down. Set the minimum of the quantity required, the lead time in days, the priority, the status option as enabled. And then you can tap here on the add new cost and set the product quantity that you want to purchase and the cost price for the same. After adding the details, uh, it appears something like this, as you can see here, uh, with the supplier selected, the product quantity set, the cost price set. Apart from that, we also have the prices section where we can set the cost price that is visible to the suppliers there. I'll show you that in a while from now. And the above information that you have entered here for the cost, cost price is used by the purchase management module itself. And here we have the option to set the procurement method for this particular product as uh, use configuration settings, depending upon the initial configurations uh, that we have set. According to that, if we have set it as automatic or manual, that particular one would be applied to this product. Otherwise, if we can want, we can choose automatic method or the manual method as well for this uh, procurement method for this particular product there. So this was how to assign the suppliers to products and the price section to set the cost price and to set the procurement method for the product there. And then what you need to do is you need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings for the same. Now after the successful installation of the Magento to purchase order plugin, we'll find one option in the side panel that is purchase management. And under purchase management, we'll be having different options like quotations wherein you can check the automatic quotations that have been generated or you can manually create the quotations. After confirmation of the uh, quotations, uh, you'll find those quotations uh, under the purchase orders. Uh, then you can check the incoming shipments, incoming uh, products and uh, under the manage supplies, you'll be able to manage the suppliers and add multiple suppliers as per the requirement there. 
and we also have the manage attribute section wherein you can uh, create attributes for the purchase orders as well and those uh, attributes would then be visible while you're creating the quotations uh, there at that time you'll be able to fill those attributes there now let me show you how to create purchase orders automatically and manually uh, so for that uh, what I've done is uh, for example I'll go to catalog and products and I'll go to one of the products uh, for the for which I've set the setting there that's the crown summit backpack I'll edit it up so first I'll show you the automatic procurement method there An automatic purchase order is basically created when any product goes out of stock. All right. So here you can see that the quantity has been set as one. So I'll be purchasing this product from the store front end. And here I have added the supplier as Jack Anthony, set the product quantity cost price. And under the prices, I've set the cost price as 32 and the procurement method as automatic for this particular product. Now here uh, you can see that uh, I am on the same product. I'll be adding it into the cart there to make a checkout. So I'll go ahead and I'll proceed further to the checkout there. Now after the automatic purchase order has been created, it would be visible under the quotations here. Let's go to the quotations. So here we can manage the quotations. Right now you can see that there's no, no uh, quotations uh, being created here let's make a checkout with the product that's the uh, crown summit backpack i'll tap next i'll choose my payment method and i'll tap here on the place order button now because we have said the uh, procurement method is automatic for the product so whenever the product quantity goes uh, to zero the automatic uh, purchase order would be created there so here you can see that the order has been placed by the customer there now if I go back and if I refresh the manage quotation section under the purchase management, that's the quotation. Here you can see that the purchase order number three has been created. The source document is automatic. The supplier email is jack at tetrasto.com. The status is new and we have the option under the actions column to view the particular quotation. So from here you can view the quotation. Here we are having the quotation order the supplier information on the right hand side the source document as automatic the order status as new and here we are having the items ordered the cost price is 32 as we had said uh, the quantity is one if you want you can update the quantity as well as per your own requirement by entering the particular order quantity and tapping on the update button and ok on the prompt there so you can see that the quantity has been updated there to 11 as you can see and the grand total is 352 dollars uh, there now this is the quotation information under the purchase management quotations now i can send the quotation by email to the particular supplier by tapping here on the send by email and if i want i can confirm the quotation as well by tapping on the confirm quotation button so if i tap here on the confirm quotation button uh, you'll see that the quotation has been confirmed successfully the order status has been changed from new to confirmed and the items ordered are these with weight cost price uh, ordered received is zero the supply source is default and the subtotal is 352 itself for the uh, same now here you can see that at the same time at the time of confirmation the incoming shipment has also been created here uh, with the sh uh, shipment ID as IN00002, the scheduled date is there, the source document is there, the supplier ID is there, the status is ready to receive, and we have the actions column where we have the view option. So if I tap here on the view option, we'll be able to receive the incoming shipments. We can also update the date for the uh, incoming shipments there by selecting the date and tapping on the update button. And here you can see that we can ex receive the shipments in partial shipment as well. So if you, want to, if you want to receive the shipments, you can tap here on the partial shipment. And here you can see the particular product, uh, the quantity. Here you can set it as to six. If you are receiving uh, only six right now, then you can tap on the receive now. Otherwise, if you're receiving the complete quantity there, then you can set it as 11 and tap on the receive now button thereafter. And after tapping that up, 
you will be able to see the confirmation message as well and here you can see that the shipment has been received successfully there as you can see and here we have the status as received for the incoming shipment and the source uh, as uh, PO number three and here we have the click to response button so if I tap on that we'll be able to see the details of the incoming shipment with the details there the order number and the order status has received so this was about the quotations how we can uh, confirm the automatic quotations or how we can view the uh, automatic or manual quotations under the manage quotation section now you can see that the quotation that we had confirmed is not visible here but is would be visible under the purchase order after it has been confirmed right the source document is automatic from here we can view the purchase order as well under the incoming shipments we will be able to see the incoming shipments here's the incoming shipments as you can see and under the incoming products we'll be able to see the products that we have received the schedule date was this the source document was this the product was crown summit backpack the quantity was 11 the status is received and the edit option there if uh, to make any changes now let me show you how we can generate uh, the manual quotations for that i have to go to quotations here I can tap on the create new purchase order. Here I'll select the particular supplier. After selecting the supplier, I'll find the supplier details here. And here you can see the additional attributes are visible here. I had created one attribute with the name additional information with the text field as the section for entering the details under the uh, manage attributes that I'll show you in a while from now. So those attributes are visible here on the purchase order that we're going to create or the quotation that we're going to create basically. So to add the products to the quotation, I'll tap here on the add products. And this would bring up the particular products of this particular supplier. And from here, I can select the particular product that I want to quote for. I can set the quantity to add. And then tap here on the add selected products to quotation. So here we are having the cost price, the subtotal, total quantity. I'll select the source as default source. If I want, I can delete this as well. And then I can tap here on the create quotation button at the top right hand corner to create a new quotation. Now this would uh, create a new quotation as you can see here with the particular product. As you can see, uh, the source document is manual. Now if I go back to the purchase management and under purchase management, if I go to the go to the manage quotations quotation section here i can find the particular quotation that's the quotation number four the source document is manual the supplier email is there the status is there the action uh, has the view link there and from here i can view the particular quotation and if i want i can confirm the quotation by tapping here on the confirm quotation button i can send the quotation to the uh, supplier by tapping on the send by email there i can cancel or i can edit the quotation as well as per the requirement there if I want, I can update the details here as well for the order number, the cost price. If I want to update that up, I can do that by tapping on the update button. And the rest of the procedure is same as I've shown in the uh, automatic one. How uh, after confirming the quotation by tapping on the confirm quotation, the quotation changes into the purchase order. Then we can uh, start uh, the incoming shipments there and receive after receiving the products there. Those products are being uh, uh, listed under the incoming products there. Now coming to the manage suppliers, if I go to the manage suppliers from here, the admin would be able to manage the suppliers. He can add multiple suppliers as per the requirement there. To add a supplier, you have to tap here on the add supplier button and that will bring up the section to add a new supplier as you can see. Here you have to enter the supplier information that includes the name, email, company, uh, the agenda, street address, city, state, uh, country, zip code, telephone number, the supplier source has to be selected and then you need to tap here on the save button to save the same. Let me edit one supplier there uh, to show you the details, how we can fill the details there. So I'll edit it up. So here you can see that we have Jack Anthony, Jack at tetrasto.com, the company is Tetrasto, mail, the city, state, country, zip code, telephone number and the default source. Now what happens is that after you've saved this up, if there are any products that you assign to this particular supplier, then those 
products would be visible under the products uh, section here under the supplier information if any of the quotations have been sent out to this particular supplier and those would be under visible under the quotations if any purchase orders have been generated those purchase orders would be visible here so you can see the automatic one that we had uh, purchase order that we had generated is visible under the purchase order under the quotation we have the other one uh, with the source document as manual so these are the details for the suppliers there now coming to the last option here that we have that is the manage attributes so if i go to the manage attributes here i'll be able to see uh, the complete list of attributes that we have created so here you can see that i had created the additional information the same one with the text area uh, whether to show the additional attributes in mail i've set it as yes to create a new attribute you can tap here on the create new attribute button and that will bring up the new attribute uh, section wherein you have to give the attribute label attribute code you can create different types of attributes like text field text area date yes no multi select drop down or media image uh, you can choose to show in the mail as well and you can set this status as per your own requirement there and after filling up the details here you have to tap here on the save button to save the details uh, for the attribute itself and the attribute would be visible on the create quotation page when you're creating a particular quotation so this was about the quotations purchase order incoming shipments incoming products manage suppliers and the manage attribute section now uh, let me show you the uh, initial configuration settings for this particular plugin for that what you need to do is you need to navigate through stores and then configuration on the configuration page under the webcool block you'll have the purchase management there you'll find two options one is general options and the email options under the general options you can set the procurement method as manual or automatic as per your own requirement there in the case of automatic magento will trigger a draft purchase order to buy the required quantities to the suppliers there you can set up the default prefix uh, that will be used during the quotation increment number generation so this would be added as a prefix to the uh, purchase order there then you can set up the default padding for the quotation on the purchase order increment number generation you can set the uh, show supplier products so if this configuration is set to yes then the selected supplier products will be shown at the time of create purchase order so if you remember while we were creating the quotation there uh, and adding the products the supplier products were visible there in a list there so this is uh, for that and then we have the email options here you have to select the appropriate default uh, email templates for the quotation template purchase order template and the cancel order template itself after setting these uh, configuration settings here you need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings so yes that was much about the updated magento 2 purchase order plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow there if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.